Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to Tech Smart, and you know what time it is. It's time for everyone's sort of favorite series, Pop or flop. So in case you guys don't know how this works, basically Josh picks out a bunch of stuff on the internet, this time Amazon, like usual, and basically he's gonna throw stuff at me, I'm gonna get to check it out for the first time and let you guys know if it's a pop or a flop. And here's the deal, being super real with you guys, this could be the final episode of Pop or Flop, so drop a like if you guys want us to keep it, if we hit 5,000 likes, it'll go back on, you'll see another one, but if not, hit the dislike, you'll never see it again. So here comes item number one, if you guys missed any of the older episodes, so right up there in the eye card. Check him out. Joshua! Is this Chewbacca? Is this the Wookiee? Maybe cast a real vote if you guys want this to keep going. Josh, hit me with it. What is this, Josh? This is the wacky contraption. If you guys want to check out anything in this video, it's linked down below. Be careful. If it ain't a pop, don't be buying it. You'll be flopping. All right. Weird contraption, bottle feeding baby. Oh, this is like a Rube Goldberg. Wow, this reminds me of like the OK Go music videos. You guys know, they had that one really cool Rube Goldberg video. All right, it's this two shall pass. There's been a lot of OK Go songs that I like. So here we go, seven bucks. Yeah, you're laughing, huh? Josh is like, time to assemble. No, Josh, you're doing it. Come on, Josh. Seven bucks. Either you're getting seven bucks, as you guys know at the series. If it's a pop, Josh gets the cash, so seven bucks. Or if it's a flop, he owes me seven bucks. So Josh, in order to find out about your seven dollars, you have to really decide, is this worth it for you? It just looks a little intimidating. It's just I... way too much stuff. Dude. Uh -huh. I know. And you wanted me to do this? Or maybe one that was pre-assembled? Was that not an option on Amazon? Uh, is that a new $7. service? Prime minus. Believe in yourself, man. I'm gonna be a coach. I'm gonna be look the coach Keaton. Look at, look at these, look at this. That's just the front. There's another side. <laughs> I'm gonna call it, it's a flop. I flopped on this one. I will give you $7 for this. Like, All right, so we thought this was coming pre-assembled. It's not. This is a flop. Seven bucks. Josh is starting off on a wrong note. On the wrong note, actually. I'm $7 richer. I don't feel bad. You guys also, by the way, assemble the Rube Goldberg contraption. contraption. Hit me up on Twitter, I'm just tech smart. Would love to see someone actually do it for seven bucks. So item number two, this is a speaker. It goes for 25 bucks. If there's assembly with this, Josh, you're doing it, not me. What is this, life alert? Like, all right, nice little speaker, good size. Whoa, this looks pretty trippy. Whoa. Ready to pair. Holy crap, Josh! I don't have to go to One Oak or Tau anymore. We got it right here. No more clubs, Club Keaton. Dude, this is sick. As long as it sounds all right, this is like a mood speaker. Wait, can you like change moods on it? It matches the mood to the music. Josh, give me some jams from the PB Jams playlist. Link down below if you guys want to check out the weekly updated Spotify playlist that I make. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. You're going to find some jams you've never heard before in there. Promise. The buttons are on the front. Josh is still trying to get this thing paired. Oh, you can change the light modes to consistent colors. Oh. So we're at full volume. Bass is all right. 25 bucks. I think the color changing feature is totally worth it. You throw this in your room, you have a club in your room. This is a massive pop. 25 bucks, Josh is rich. Item three, $11. Would you buy for 11 bucks? This is a mask? Whoa, no way. I have seen this before. Never wanted to buy it. Now it's here, so here we are. Ev smiling. Ev, I got your new fanny pack for Coachella. Yes, yes, yes. This is awesome, 11 bucks. Way better than the Rube Goldberg contraption. Oh yeah, I am in love with this thing. Woo, this is awesome. So the entire TechSmart crew is about to react. What do you think, Joe? Makes me uncomfortable. But you got some deep pockets. Can we put that speaker in? Boom, Coachella. Oh, you can easily, easily bring anything you want to this festival. Nice little water bottle. Okay, if we can do a water bottle and a speaker, you know how much room you got. This thing has hella volume. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. $11, massive pop. Josh, you crushed it. Item four. Give it to me. 
$17 for this thing. Ooh, this is fire. Oh man, this is a sweet spot of mine. So let me just give you the backstory. I have lost 25 pairs of Apple AirPods. I even got one in my pocket because I have remembered. So AirPods, I love these things to death. You guys might've checked them out. Let me know in the comments if you've ever picked up a pair or if you've ever lost a pair. Here's how this goes. So it's an iPhone, AirPods, and Apple Watch stand. Aha style. Dude, if this is good, everyone buy this in the description. This is, oh, as long as it doesn't suck. Just don't suck. So it's just basically a rubber stand that you need to push lightning cables through. So all the cables will be consolidated right here at the bottom. So it's super clean on your nightstand or on your desk. Looks pretty discreet. You put your AirPods here, phone goes here, and then the Apple Watch charger goes right there. Oh, that is a tight fit. Oh, whoa, that just, wow. Okay, we got one down. So this is for the iPhone. Now we're gonna do one for the AirPods. My Apple Watch charger, I only have one, but it's, well, my first week back on the Apple Watch game. There we go. So as you guys can see, with the Apple Watch charger, I would just put the puck there, run the cable down, and everything is tucked away. Normally, I would have all this clean, so it looks good on the desk, but let's see if it works. So, AirPods first. Uh... Yeah, buddy! That is awesome. So since it's so sturdy, and as you saw me struggling, you can dock your AirPods, pull them up, dock them, pull it up, pop lock it, drop it. Nothing is gonna move. Let's try the iPhone. Okay, now the iPhone's charging. It works, 17 bucks. So Josh right now has got three pops, one flop. Apparently item number five, $20? What did you get me, Josh? Oh, no way. No way. This is $20 but worth every dollar. Yanni or Laurel? Quickly vote up in the iCard which you think it is. Yanni or Laurel? I think it sounds like Laurel, I'll be honest. Laurel, Laurel. Oh wait, no. Laurel. It sounds like Laurel to me. It could sound like Yanni to you. Vote up in the iCard, absolutely worth it. Josh, four pops, one flop. Item six is 108 bucks. What did you give me, Josh? I appreciate you walking over and then just, instead of hand delivering this one, he throws it. Cambio 2-in-1 Notebook Tablet by RCA. I have checked out more of their tablets in the Weird Shopping Best Buy, or if you guys seen the five minute speed shopping. They make some good tablets. I've never bought one that's more than, I think, $30. So this thing is a 10 inch display, 32 gigs of storage, dual cameras, two gigs of RAM, and up to six hour battery life. And it's running Windows 10. Dude, <laughs> what is this? So it's a two-in-one got these prongs here. So this is the keyboard part. So you can use it as a tablet or as a full-fledged laptop. Oh, it docks nicely. One speaker at the bottom. Feels kind of hefty, so maybe this thing can pack a punch. HDMI, is that micro USB? Not to charge it right. The charge port, power on button, and is that USB 3.0? It's a USB port. We gotta be thankful. Some just don't even include that. When this thing fully powers up, it's, it's doing its thing right now. Apparently, on the keyboard section, there's no real trackpad, it's all capacitive. So there's no vibration, there's no feedback. You just have to look at the screen to see if you're actually clicking something or scrolling around. I didn't sign up for this. It's really easy to press the power button on the side. Just I've done that twice accidentally. Okay, we got some apps. Josh, I got Minecraft on here for you. I kind of like this. So I'm on YouTube, seems to scroll just fine. This thing could do light work. I wouldn't start video editing on it or editing photos or really anything that's graphic intensive. Let's try to find the fourth episode of Pop or Flop. And remember, this thing only has two gigabytes of RAM, so I'm guessing it's gonna be slow. The volume button on here? <laughs> Quality's not bad. Definitely an HD screen. All right, let's shut this kid up. Oh, and the mouse pad. Mouse pad. The track pad. Jeez, what? What's happening with me? The track pad. Oh, it. Oh, it's like, like a regular track pad. Click just by tapping. Yeah, dude, this thing rocks. Josh, I'm giving you a pop. This thing's pretty good for 100 days. Oh, you're getting rich. Just getting rich off the series. You want the series to keep going, don't you? Last item, Josh. Oh, 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 he pulled it out of the box. How much is this? $15, final item. Let's go, boom. Yes, sir, I have seen this. I think I've, yep, I have checked one of these out. This is a USB programmable fan. Simple, 15 bucks, and basically you can program the message, fan blade spin. Let's power this thing on. Maybe this $108 two-in-one is much better than we thought. And it is. 
So to customize this, you have to download some software. It's only on the PC, so if you have a Windows machine, you're set, fan, yeah, you're gonna be cool. All right, Josh, you got six pops. This is a pop two. We're done. Wow, everything's linked down below if you thought any of this stuff was cool. So you guys, that's it for this episode of Pop or Flop. Make sure to drop it a like if you want this series to keep going. Subscribe if you're new by clicking that circle button down there and check out the last two videos of this series and some other cool stuff on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.